Hello, in this video we are discussing Please Look After Mum by Shin Kyung Sook. Shin Kyung Sook is a South Korean writer and she was the only South Korean and only woman to win the Man Asian Literary Prize in 2011 for Please Look After Mum. Her other works include Winter Fable published in 1990, Deep Sorrow published in 1994, A Lone Room published in 1995, the Train Departs at 7, published in 1999. Violet, published in 2001. The Unknown Women, published in 2011. Please Look After Mum is originally published in 2008 and it is translated by T. Young Kim in 2011. Next, let us discuss about the characters in this novel. Park so Nyo is the mother of four children. Hyong Chol is So Nyo's oldest son. Chin Hoon is So Nyo's eldest daughter. Yu Bin is Chin Hoon's boyfriend. Hong Ta Hee is a director of an orphanage whom she donated to. So these are the characters in this novel. Next, let us look into the plot. Please Look After Mom reveals the shortcomings of both traditional ways and modern life. It tells of the disappearance of So Nyo, a mother, and her family's subsequent search for her. Often they search only their memories. So Nyo's story begins shortly after Korea was divi divided when its people became impoverished. Her terror of being unable to find the next meal for her children is strong and we realize how resourceful and hardworking she had to be in order to ensure that they were never hungry. When she wasn't tilling the field, she would breed silkworms and brew malt and help to make tofu. Sonio is what we might call an earth mother but out of necessity rather than choice. It is one of the novel's ironies that her eldest daughter is a successful novelist who does not realize until too late that her mother couldn't read. This is yet another tragedy of Sonio's secret, sublimated life. Please Look After Mother is nostalgic but unsentimental and brutally well observed. This novel, translated into English from the original Korean, explores how individual members of a family are traumatized by the sudden and unexplained disappearance of mom. As the narrative explores the lows, self-recrimination and in some cases self-discovery experienced in the aftermath of mom's disappearance, it also considers themes related to the self-sacrifice of mothers and the relationship between past and present and the shifting nature of identity. The first part of the story, Nobody Knows, is written from the first person perspective of mom's eldest daughter whose name is not revealed until the novel's second section. Her narration describes the family's attempts at finding mom who got separated from her husband, father, while they were hurrying through Seoul's BBC train station, contemplating the various unusual circumstances that might have brought mom and father to the station at that particular time. The narrator also contemplates the narrator's relationship with mom and also with narrator's younger brother, the overachieving and much resented Hyong Chol, to whom mom devoted much of her time and energy. The novel's second section, I'm sorry, Hong Chol, is narrated from the third person perspective of Hyong Chol himself, who wonders what he was doing at the moment mom disappeared worries about how to find her and begins to feel guilty about not being a better son. As Hyong Chol and Chin Hong follow every possible lead as they try to track mom down, they discover that she is following something of a pattern, visiting every place where Hyong Chol lived or worked or both. Over the course of the searches, Hyong Chol remembers how mom pushed him to do well on his exams, how disappointed she was when he failed the entrance exam to university, how she continued to make sacrifices for him, and ultimately how badly he treated her. The third section of the novel, I am home, is narrated from a similar perspective to that of first section, that is of a first person narrator speaking of himself in the third person. 
that is referring to himself as you in this case the narrator is father struggling to come to grips with the disappearance of his wife with his memories of her life with his self recrimination for not being a better husband and with the surprising discovery of her relationship with a local orphanage meanwhile the mystery of what happened to mom is deepening although both ho yong chol and shin hong are beginning to wonder whether they are ever going to find her in the fourth section of the novel another woman the narrator is mom herself in language and phrasing in language and phrasing that suggests she has died or at least she is existing on a different spiritual plane mom describes visiting her favored younger daughter and worrying that she the daughter is losing her sense of self and a male friend she also visits her and father's home and when she discovers that father is in there explores the house room by room relieving important times in her life At the close of the section narrator describes mom's encounter with her own mom and the comfort she finds in her arms. The narrative closes with an epilogue written in the same narrative style as the first and third sections and again focusing on Chin Hoon who has impulsively joined her boyfriend on a trip to Rome. Leaving him behind in their hotel room, she walks through the ancient streets at one point reading a letter sent by her sister in which the sister describes changes in her feelings. and perspectives since mom disappeared later chin hoon visits the vatican where she is able to honor one of mom's fondest wishes and where later she whispers a prayer to the virgin mary to please look after mom so the themes in this novel include loss self recrimination self discovery self sacrifice of mothers particularly in korea relationship between memories of past and realities of present and the different aspects of identity